Hello and welcome to this edition of the Cattlemen's Web Update. Well, cattle ranchers uh, tend to be getting larger and less help around. You know, cattle working facilities are becoming much more of a necessity that uh, are functional and well designed and, and can minimize the stress on both the cattle and the people working. Uh, we're in the Leland Red Angus Ranch located in southwest Mackenzie County today uh, with Todd uh, Leland and Melvin Leland, the uh, owners and operators. And they've got some uh, excellent working facilities here. and We'd just like to share a little bit with you some of the features they have. And Mel, I was going to ask you, uh, you know, the first thing that uh, we probably look for in a cattle handling facility is a large corral to uh, gather cattle in. Would you tell us a little bit about, about your system here? Yeah, we <clears throat> try to have our setup to where cattle will flow into it when we gather them and bring them in and have large enough pens to where it, cattle aren't too crowded. Cra cattle don't like to be jammed together. And uh, then we do some initial sorting out of the bigger pens. Now I notice you've got some uh, different size pens out, out here. Uh, can you just tell us a little bit how you bring your cattle in and how, you, how it works? Well, we normally bring cattle in from the west here or sometimes from the east, depending on where, which pastures we're coming in from. And we'll bring them around and put a large group over in that pen to sort cows and calves. We've got two gates there. We can put a man on each gate and put three, four people horseback. And we can sort cows and calves very quickly. Cows will flow out and calves will hold back. And uh, then when we get ready to vaccinate or whatever we're going to do with the herd after they're separated, well, then we can come around into this pen and come down our alley and do it, other sorting or loading or whatever we're going to do with it. Well, I think that, that makes it, brings us up to another point. Thing. After uh, sorting our pens, you, you need a functional set of alleys. You know. I noticed you've got about 16 foot wide and uh, you've got a number of different alleys here. Uh, do you just process cows or do you also do some weighing? Or? Well, we weigh a lot of cattle out of here for neighbors. We have a certified scale here, so there are neighbors that ship cattle out of here, and so it functions well for that as well. It wasn't built with that design in mind, but it works well that way, so we can do it. But even people that don't weigh out cattle, you know, a lot of times you have to sort off heifers or things. You know, the sorting alley is a pretty important part of, of any working facility then, you'd say. Absolutely, and and to have it functional to where you can go different directions if you need to uh, for your sorting so you don't have to mill the cattle around. Well, maybe we could go down and talk to show us some of the sorting features you've got. sorting gates and I should mention that uh, Leland Red Angus uh, also uh, run a registered herd so they do have to do a lot of sortings not only calves and, and work calves but also yearlings and, and uh, uh, adult animals as well so Todd I know you have a number of gates here that you can do some sorting off of yeah if you got just go a couple different directions two or three people can handle it pretty easy one guy can run both of these gates and it works best to have uh, two people in the alley if you have the second one to follow you to bring cattle down. And then, like when we AI, we go several different directions. So we'll get a few more people and we can go seven different directions. We got a couple different directions over there and then we can go about three different directions this way. So, so you've got a design though where you can kind of take advantage of cattle's behavior aspects as well, you know, what they'd like to do. Yeah, they're, like, as far as loading out and stuff, we can bring them up that alley over there and, and they're kind of going back the way they come from and the same as, as when we go into the work-in facilities, we'll bring them up the alley over there and then they turn around and come right back the way they come in and so they right, think so they're that, getting back. So now the, the next piece of equipment I guess you need is a good uh, gathering pen and working out. Let's go take a look at that. That year's designed to take care of the cattle behavior that uh, they tend to like to go where they just came from. Right, cattle like to go where they've been comfortable and so we come back around and, and there's a curve to our working facility here. It usually works best to bring them, like on cows, bring about five cows at a time and they'll flow up and then We've got a butt stop or bars that we can use and then get another five. We can hold about uh, eight, nine cows at a time in the alleyway, but uh, 
It usually works best to put them in about five or six at a time. So if we had somebody that actually had limited health, this would work actually pretty good. Two to three people could do a pretty good job of working cattle. Three people, especially if the person back here works quietly, can keep those cattle just flowing. And sometimes you don't even have to move. You just, they'll follow each other right on through. Um, I noticed you've got uh, totally enclosed alleys. Do you think that's a necessity or, or can, can it work if somebody even has an open uh, alley? I, I think if you have a curved system, it's better to have it closed. Uh, if you have an open uh, side system, it, I think you're better off to have a straight line shoot way. I think it's so it's let people work with the materials they've got and the, and the cattle they've got. And they no, I know you've incorporated some features so you can do AI, you can work uh, calves, you can sort uh, sort off uh, whether they're bulls or heifers before your sale. Um, maybe just take a few minutes to explain some of the features you have here, Mel, in your, your facility. Well, first of all, we've, we've invested in a hydraulic uh, silencer chute, which we like very well. It does have a scale under it. Uh, Todd will function that. Uh, he, scale it. Uh, hydraulic will lift up so you can clean out underneath to make it nice and clean, and then it drops back down to your weighing position. Uh, and that way when you're uh, medicating cattle, we have the scale there, you can uh, check for your weights and get your doses as accurate. Uh, we do have uh, a canopy over the uh, chute, primarily just under inclement. Uh, conditions. So it's nice to be able to stay dry. Uh, also, in cases of wind, we have uh, roll tarps down the side to shut off the wind, which uh, are essential at some points. But uh, also, uh, with the hydraulic chute and your electronic and hose uh, hydraulic components, it's nice to uh, keep them prote protected from the sun and the elements. We don't actually do any AI and to speak of here outside of maybe some isolated cases. Uh, we do that in a pasture situation. Uh, we don't uh, like to do that in, a, in, a, in the system that we normally work our cattle in just to, because it's, uh, uh, cattle are a little more comfortable if they're not uh, in a crowding situation when you're breeding. But for folks, though, that do uh, want to AI a, a palpation chute or some kind of blocking alley to get in and out would be a very important feature, wouldn't it? Oh, yes. Yep. I, I want to thank uh, Melvin and Todd Leland and the folks here at Leland Red Angus Ranch for taking the time to share uh, their facilities with us. Uh, you know, I, I, they've got a lot of nice features on theirs that uh, hopefully maybe there's some ideas you can incorporate to yours. Uh, coming up on the next screen, there are some uh, websites that uh, if you wanted to learn more about cattle behavior, cattle handling facilities, uh, go ahead and take care of those. And, uh, you know, and stay tuned for future cattle web updates that will uh, be on the web here in the future.